Hey there, East Tennessee, and happy UT Football Day. We, of course, have been seeing some rain showers that have come into the area growing as we've gotten into the afternoon. But as we look towards the rest of the game, we did have a delay kickoff, so one off at 530 instead of five. We've gotten through first quarter without a hitch, and some forecasts are showing that Knox County could be clear of these showers as we get into the rest of the night. This is one of them where you just see those mostly cloudy skies as we see temperatures fall down into the 60s. But here's a look at the radar. It is messy, to say the least. We've seen two severe thunderstorm warnings despite the storm prediction center actually pulling us out of that severe risk and we've had a couple of just strong good old storms come into the area one of them passing through Knox County of course which is why we saw that delay but otherwise we're actually seeing some relatively weaker conditions we got a wider mass of storms here in severe cock heading into Jefferson County some stronger storms especially out in further upper East Tennessee even in parts of the mountains of North Carolina as they try to make their way over here into East Tennessee stronger storms into the Southern Valley as well you see these heading directly into Spring City and so We'll generally continue to see a lot of those storms either come up out of the south or they develop in parts of the plateau or the mountains and foothills. So the key to all of this is going to be higher elevation. We're not seeing a lot of wind shear, which is why we're not seeing a lot of severe risk. So these storms are just causing a lot of uh, not movement per se, but they're moving very slow and possibly pouring rain over the same areas that they develop. That could cause a lot of flooding, which is the number one risk that we are looking at. But looking at your future cast, we're mainly going to see a lot of these storms continue to just push their way further into the north as we get into the coming hours. Maybe a little bit of rain here in Knoxville according to this model, but a lot of those stronger storms tend to stay in parts of the Southern Valley or even getting further into the Northern Valley Plateau and again in Upper East Tennessee. So we see some of these stronger storms continuing to move into the north. It really looks like activity is going to slowly die down as we see nightfall. So we're going to continue to watch that movement as we get into the coming hours. Much calmer conditions once we hit midnight and beyond. And then Sunday is going to be a bit of a rinse and repeat. We're going to see some clearer conditions in the morning time, but then it seems like as we get to the afternoon, that's when things can get a little bit tricky again. All this is happening is because we're seeing a stationary front that is just over to the east of our region. It's been stalling in the area for quite a long time, so we have a lot of moisture that is usable, but not necessarily the forcing to make any severe storms occur. So that's why we're seeing a lot of these lightnings. We've had the two severe thunderstorm warnings and you can see further up a lot more of those lightnings, severe thunderstorm warnings and even a watch as you get into Maryland and Pennsylvania and a little bit of Jersey as well. So as we get into the rest of the night, really again from that wider scale, we're going to keep seeing these storms pass out of the way, generally calming down around maybe 9 p.m. or so clearer into your Sunday morning and then Sunday. This is where things get a little bit maybe tricky per se because Sunday is forecast to be pretty similar to Saturday. We have similar conditions in terms of the moisture that is available to use, but will we have the forcing to make that happen? This model in particular is showing a lot of that storm activity staying further over to our east and to our south. You see storms reaching from Atlanta all the way down into western North Carolina, all the way up through Virginia and up to Maryland and Pennsylvania again. So we're going to keep watching that through and Monday is going to be a much calmer day as we see some surface high pressure takeover briefly. However, as we get into the middle of the week around like Tuesday or Wednesday, we see more rain chances come by. So these next three days take us into your Tuesday. We're seeing Seeing those higher rain totals here again along the mountains, especially and a little bit here as you get into the plateau, just emphasizing those higher elevations. Now looking at rain chances again, we're going to be on the calmer end of your Monday. Then on Tuesday, really Tuesday night specifically is the next time we're looking at rain chances. We're going to see a cold front coming into the area just about Tuesday night into your Wednesday. So that's why we're seeing some lower chances for Wednesday. Might even drop that down a little bit lower just because models are really showing that activity to kind of stick around Tuesday and into some of the overnight hours. The effect from that cold front are going to be is going to be amazing going from the lower 80s through the rest of the weekend and the beginning of the week down into the upper 70s. Look at that first time we've seen it in a quite a while and especially after a hot summer like this. I know I'm not the only one that was begging for it.